What is off-grid power? Put simply, it is power that doesn't come from the national grid. Consider this scenario. You have a single house, a smaller housing estate, an industrial cluster or a small community. Ideally, to get power to these places, they should be connected to the power distribution grid, which receives power from the distribution companies. Assuming these places are not connected to the grid, that is. With off-grid power, what obtains instead is these places have their own 24 hours power source. This could be petrol or diesel power generator or power from renewable sources. Renewables like solar panels, wind turbines and biomass for off-grid power as alternative energy sources are hugely popular in other countries, but less so in Nigeria, largely for two main reasons. Firstly, years of installations of substandard products, which break down after a few months, have made many Nigerians lose confidence in renewable energy. Secondly is the myth that renewable energy is expensive because of the initial installation cost. However, studies have shown that medium and long term, people who utilize renewable sources of energy save more. The energy source like the sun, wind and organic waste is free unlike when you use a petrol or diesel power generator. These costs are in addition to running cost of maintenance of generators. In addition, the cost of renewable energy installations has fallen by 80% over the last decade. Nigeria has huge potential for renewable energy with over 8 hours of sunshine every day all year round. Abundant wind, especially in the coastal areas and numerous sources of organic materials from food and agri wastes. Despite this, renewable energy in Nigeria accounts for less than 1% of the total energy generated in the country. At the moment, it is impossible for the Nigerian power grid to supply power to the entire country. And half the population are not connected to the grid. This is over 80 million Nigerians. Even with the four-year grid extension plan announced by the Nigerian government, which should increase the grid capacity to 22,000 megawatts, it is unlikely that the grid will provide enough electricity for Nigeria in the coming years, especially as large power plants take many years to build. So, off-grid options represent a viable solution to the current energy crisis. Off-grid comes in different shapes and sizes. For example, Nigeria's natural gas can be used to power turbines to provide large amounts of electricity for industrial zones and estates. These turbines do not need a pipeline, as the gas could be trucked to location. They will need to build the power plant and extend the cables to the factories. In this way, parts of industrial production will become independent of the central grid. Small businesses like tailors, barbers, cyber cafes, Market stalls could be paying a monthly amount for the installation of solar panels on their roofs until they own it. After paying off the solar company within two or three years, their electricity cost will be almost zero. Hmm, let that sink in for a minute. Imagine powering your business at little or no cost. Small communities or estates can have their own mini grid, which can be powered by solar, biomass, but also by gas. Off-grid installations could provide power for agricultural processing even in remote places where farmers could then produce dried tomatoes, plantain chips, cassava chips, cassava flour, palm oil and so on. Solar-powered fridges are keeping milk products fresh wherever the cows are grazing, much to the benefit of dairy companies. The possibilities of what can be achieved with off-grid power are endless.